द चैलेंज बाय द अप्लियंट इज थ्री फोल्ड फर्स्टली इट इज कंटेंडेड दैट प्रायर टू द रेस्पोंडेंट बैंक एक्वायरिंग द सेड प्रॉपर्टी इन एन ऑक्शन सेल द सेम हैड बीन री एंटर्ड बाय द लैंड एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफिस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया बीइंग द लेसर ऑफ द लैंड अंडरनीथ द प्रॉपर्टी एंड दस नो टाइटल वाज एक्वायर्ड बाय द रेस्पोंडेंट बैंक एंड द सेड प्रॉपर्टी वाज नॉट पब्लिक प्रेमिसेस विद इन द मीनिंग ऑफ सेक्शन टू ऑफ द पी पी एक्ट फॉर द स्टेट ऑफिसर ऑफ द रेस्पोंडेंट बैंक टू पास एन ऑर्डर विद रेस्पेक्ट देयर टू Secondly, it is contended that no bona fide requirement on which ground the appliant was sought to be evicted had been established, and rather it stood admitted that the eviction of the appliant was with profit motive. Lastly, it is contended that no proper opportunity. to lead evidence was given to the appliant by the state officer of the respondent bank as far as the first of the challenge of our set is concerned the admitted position is that when the respondent bank after bidding for the said property in an auction had applied to the court for confirmation of the sale in its favor the l and d o had objected on the ground that the property having already been reentered no title could be conveyed to the respondent bank the said application of the l and d o was rejected giving liberty to the l and d o to seek its remedies not only so the supreme court in shanti sharma versus ved prakash 193 has held that reentry effected by the l and d o of lease with respect to the land underneath the property does not prevent the lessee of the said land from seeking eviction of his her its tenant in the property constructed on the said land as owner thereof it was held that unless the l and d o pursuant to the said reentry repossess the property the lessee of the land is fully entitled to deal with the tenants erected in the property constructed over the said land as owner landlord and the tenants of the lessee cannot challenge the little of the landlord upon the senior counsel for the appliant being confronted with the said judgment he had no reply there to now therefore it has to go by the earlier decision of the court which had decided that matter justifiably as such he contends that the supreme court in the said case in a case of reentry by the l and d o had directed the possession of the premises to be delivered by the tenant to the l and d o and not to its landlord we have on demur asked the senior counsel 
for the appliant whether the appliant is willing to hand over possession to the L and D O if not to the respondent bank. The answer is in the negative. The said conduct of the appliant demonstrates the malafides of the appliant in seeking to retain possession of a valuable property in the prime central business district of the capital city of Delhi on some pretext or the other. The judgment in Bharat Sales Limited Supra turns on its own facts. That was a case under Section 14 of the Delhi Rent Control Act 1958 and in which proceedings the LNDO was also a party. Such is not the case here. On the contrary, the plea of the L and DO has already been negated while confirming the sale in favor of the respondent bank. The L and DO having not taken any steps till now for repossessing the property. The appliant cannot wriggle out a eviction order if otherwise found to be validly passed by setting up a title in the L and D O. Moreover, the respondent is a nationalized bank and the L and D O has a policy of revoking the re-entry upon the regions on account where of re-entry was effected being remedied and the charge therefore being paid. There is nothing to suggest that the said charges cannot be recovered from the respondent bank. We therefore do not find any merit in the said ground of challenge. As far as the second ground aforesaid of challenge is concerned, the finding of the premises being required by the respondent bank is a finding of fact not interferable in writ jurisdiction much less in an appeal arising therefrom. The appliant admittedly is an old tenant in the premises at a meager rent. This court in Iyer and Sun Private Limited versus LIC of India affirmed recently in Life Insurance Corporation of India versus Daiwanti Burma has held a public sector bank as the respondent to be fully justified in endeavoring to earn maximum out of its properties. No case thus for interference with the findings of the state officer affirmed by the district judge of the requirement of the premises by the respondent bank for its own use is made out and entitled to retain possession thereof.